think we maybe we're on we're live good morning good evening good afternoon whatever time you're watching this in the future because nobody's watching now uh, i suppose i should wait a few minutes last week we had a couple of people jump in and then out very quickly when they <laughs> So, who was presenting? Uh, good morning. Thanks for joining us for our latest Sylvia Findings live stream um, show event thing, where we are continuing our effort to catalog all of the products that we have and uh, throwing in some uh, spicy details as we go. Maybe a little um, how to knowledge, a little jewelry knowledge. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, criticisms, well, save the criticisms. I don't need them. We're at that point in the year. It's January. It's, uh, you know, how you do? Everybody doing okay? <laughs> You're all good? Good. I hope so. Uh, this is the time of the year where uh, all the manifestations of everybody's angst and, um, you know, and some places are locking down again and, God, oh, cannot imagine the stress on the psyche of a civilization. <laughs> you didn't come here for this. That's all right. Uh, I'm going to give it to you anyway. Um, so here we are, year three of the plague. Uh, <laughs> or uh, is, I guess it's not the same plague, it's a different plague now. It's variants. Um, anyway, whatever. We're continuing. Hopefully uh, things are going to start hopping soon with uh, shows because um, apparently the world is done with this uh, pandemic, even though the pandemic is not done with the world. But uh, we'll see <laughs> how it goes. Um, yeah, uh, I'm doing good. I'm not. <laughs> let's, let's just be honest here. Uh, I'm feeling the angst. I'm feeling it. You know, it's that kind of part of the year. Anyway, uh, we were doing chains, and we're going to continue doing chains. I think this is just about the last week. I might have one more week of chains to do, and then we'll start doing a couple of how-tos, because those are fun. Um, just, you know, simple things. And then uh, uh, I think in March, we have a bunch of shows scheduled. So, yeah. You know, the... the uh, Wednesdays, the days that we do these live streams, are normally the uh, the most in between day in between the shows, you know, because normally we'll, uh, you know, if it's a show that's somewhere, you know, uh, sort of like a close by, ish, you know, within a couple hours drive, uh, we'll leave on uh, Thursday, you know, if it's uh, if we're going uh, sort of like Victoria or somewhere, um, or we'll leave Friday early Friday morning, uh, but we'll pack up Thursday, um, so you know uh nothing will be available product wise to show you on thursdays uh and then you know we'll do the show as a thing come back uh uh monday you know we uh normally uh unpack you know sometimes we'll unpack sunday uh, nights if it's if it's not too late uh but usually we'll unpack mondays and then uh the showroom is not really back to 100 percent until the tuesdays so Wednesday is really the only day that we would be doing it. And and when we're doing shows back to back, probably won't unpack everything. We'll just, you know, uh, leave the, the bring the, uh, the the inventory up back into the showroom, into the safe and everything. But um, uh, we probably won't unpack the trunks. And then we'll just have them, you know, here. So not really feasible for that kind of thing. And uh, actually, I'm pretty nervous about how that's all gonna work out because we're doing so much business online now, so much uh, mail order business through Etsy and things that we'll see how that works. You know, we have to be able to keep fulfilling orders. And normally, uh, you know, Mondays are the busiest days for those things because all of the accumulated orders over the weekend, you know. Um, anyway, like this, just this last Monday, we had a record number of orders that we had to ship out. That oh, I don't know how we're going to do it when we're at shows, but we'll see. We'll make it work. Um, anyway, neither here nor there. Uh, shipping is uh, doing better, except for the the East Coast. Now that you guys can feel the angst that we felt back in December when we got slammed by all those crazy 
um, you know, rainstorms and flooding and roads washing out and stuff. Um, things in the East Coast, Ontario, Quebec, you know, just immobilized by uh, weather, <laughs> winter, you know. But we're Canadians, we can do it. <laughs> we can get out. We can dig ourselves out and live our lives uh, under a pile of snow. But uh, overall, uh, getting stuff out of the West Coast is uh, a lot easier now that uh, those roads have all reopened. They just last week reopened one of the biggest ones. Um, if you're not familiar, there's this one uh, highway called the Coquihalla Highway that they opened, I don't know, some time ago. It used to be you could only take Highway 1, the Trans-Canada Highway. Um, I mean, a couple of other, you know, weird roads. But if you were <laughs> really meaning to go uh, east, uh, that was pretty much one of the only roads. And then they opened this one, which is great. It just, it uh, it's real straight and it um, cuts off a lot of time um, if you're traveling, you know, east from here. And that one was washed out. And, and uh, they, but they just last week reopened that. So things are moving again. We'll see. Um... Yeah, other than that, I have nothing. I have nothing. Uh, things in Europe are heating up again. Um, uh, <laughs> I gotta be careful how I say this. Uh, I mean, as far as logistics is concerned. Um, and um, if you're in Eastern Europe, man, I, I, I'm I, sorry. It's a, it's a tough time. But um, jewelry is here for you. You're always, you know, have that to fall back on to make stuff. And um, I think January is Mental Health Awareness Month or something. I feel like I read that somewhere. So, you know, jewelers, do your part. You know, you can always uh, get those synapses firing if you just start making stuff. You know, it doesn't have to be something new. It doesn't have to be something wildly creative. Just make something that you've made before, that you've done a hundred times that your hands know what to do and your brain can check out and just uh, getting into that little fugue state of uh, you know working without thinking can be very meditative which is something that we all kind of need right now um, having said that let's meditate on some chain uh, this we're going to keep doing bulk chains as we've been doing the past uh, couple weeks so how do we did we've done one two three weeks uh, I'm just looking at the rows of uh, things because I, can, I managed to do about three um, displays um, a week as we go. And when I say the displays, these are like the, whoops, these are you know, the displays that we bring to shows that we show people. So uh, I'm just pulling them off there and uh, doing three of those displays a week. And uh, yeah, it works out pretty good time-wise. I mean, you know, I always try to keep these things under an hour, uh, which I don't know why you would be. <laughs> you keep watching this after you know 45 minutes unless you were really interested in chain like oh my gosh what's the latest cable chain uh and i'm making fun of my own um <laughs> live stream here uh that's a, what they call self-deprecating humor in case you were uh unaware sort of thing aye, aye, aye. okay <laughs> i don't even know where i'm going with this let's just get started let me just move this around Doink. our first chain sfc 092 with a retail price of 15 dollars and 12 cents and a wholesale price of nine dollars and 45 cents now that uh, just this bears a, a, a and these numbers are pretty good actually for for uh illustrating uh how to get the wholesale price uh our wholesale minimum, excuse me, is $150 to get the wholesale price. But you have to spend $150 at the wholesale level. So even though this is $15.12 a foot, if you bought 10 feet of that, it'd be $151.12. So you would think, hey, 150 bucks, yay, I get the wholesale. But no, because that's $150 at the retail price. You need to spend 150 at the wholesale price. So you need to get like a... Not even 15 feet we were. So we'll call it 16 feet. You'd have to get 16 feet of this uh, to get the wholesale price. Um, and it seems like this is one of those good, you know, things to illustrate. If I bought 9 feet of this, or or, or the, if I bought 10 feet of this, it's 151.20, right? Uh, so you're already paying that. And it's like, uh, I need to add 
six more feet of this to pay the same price. You know what I mean? So even though you're kind of in between, it's that in between um, uh, state that confuses people. It's like, wait a minute, if I get more stuff, I'll pay less. And, you know, yeah. <laughs> so just here's some free stuff. Anyway, uh, SFC 092 uh, with um, these little, um, I don't know what they are, barbell, not barbells. Uh, what would you call these? I don't know. Pinched ovals, right? Where they pinch together. And these are actually all soldered closed, right? Where they're in between those things, those little hourglass. We'll call them hourglass. Little hourglass links. Very cute. These links are uh, about uh, three millimeters wide and about eight millimeters long. <laughs> I got that from the tag. That's right on the tag. Okay, three by eight. Very lovely. Uh, not super uh, um, delicate, right? But also not super chunky or weird. You know, it's just very nice in between. Here's another. This one is really popular, which I'm not really sure why, because I don't know. I don't, I don't ask questions. SFC 093 with a retail price of $12.95 a foot and a wholesale price of $8.09 a foot. And these just uh, long... Uh, I, I don't know, hot dogs, <laughs> links, you know, the long oval links. Um, I think it's just a very modern chain, and it's a very, um, I don't know. Uh, the individual links themselves are um, kind of uh, oval wire, right? A little bit wider on the outside than they are on the inside. So it's not quite like a low dome wire because it's not flat on the inside like a Rolo chain. It's just kind of uh, oval, individual links. And these links are about two and a half millimeters wide by six millimeters long. And here we have our first real Rolo chain, SFC094 with a retail price of $13.46 a foot and a wholesale price of $8.41 a foot. Um, and this is a two and a half millimeter, uh, that's not two and a half millimeters. How wide is that? Well, maybe it is. I brought my caliper this time. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is, look at that. Two and a half millimeter links. I better, I can just trust Nelson to always get the correct sizing. Uh, I don't know why that looks bigger than two and a half millimeters to me, but I must just be wrong. Anyway, this is just a Rolo chain. A Rolo chain is, uh, um, you know, just usually the links are round, but they can be oval uh, or whatever. Um, and the wire itself that the uh, links are made out of is rounded on the outside and flat on the inside, like a low dome wire. Um, these can get pretty chunky. We've got uh, one. I'll, I'll show you one later at the end. I think just about one of the last ones I'm going to show you is a giant one. It's like a seven millimeter link. Huge. And SFC 095 with a retail price of two seventy dollars and a wholesale price of $1.69 a foot. This is a 1.3 millimeter, uh, this is a, uh, what do you call that? It's, um, I can't remember the name of it. It's when the links don't necessarily link to the link previous. You know, they're linked in rows of four, right? So any individual link will connect to the link four links up and they're stacked on top of each other. So they're, you know, it's a very supple chain. Uh, it gives you that little twisty looking effect. Uh, it's very gorgeous. You know, kind of sparkly because the links are flat. Um, I just love this. Oh, God, it's killing me that I can't remember the name of that uh, link. Jen's Pinned? No, that's different. I can't remember it. Anyway. Uh, I don't really have a bigger one to show you, but uh, let me see if we can see this as a close-up. No, not really. 
You can see a little bit. Anyway. Our next chain, another very simple chain, SFC096, with a retail price of $3.86 per foot and a wholesale price of $2.41 a foot. Uh, this is a one millimeter curb chain, right, which is just little tiny uh, links, oval links that have been twisted, so they lay flat, right, they all have a little bend in them. And uh, then there's a little flat edge that's either, uh, usually it's filed if you do it uh, big, or you can just put it through uh, a rolling mill to give you that little flat edge on it. Uh, it's just a little bit of a flat edge, just enough to give it... Um, that sort of definition and and i mean you've seen these right these are kind of the the one of the most quint quintessential jewelry chains ever but this is a nice really small one 1.3 millimeters very gorgeous and uh really super versatile too our next item sfc 097 with a retail price of five sixty eight a foot and a wholesale price of three fifty five, this is a one point three millimeter cable chain, a little bit bigger than the one we just looked at, which was only one millimeter. Uh, and you can see this the same flat uh, links, right? So it's just oval links that have been twisted, so they have that bend in them, so they lay flat with each other. Um, and then there's a little flat edge put on them. Again, either by filing if you're doing it old school or uh, through a rolling mill if you're doing it uh, manufacturer-wise. Another kind of classic uh, cable chain, or I should say curb chain. Here is another Rolo SFC 063 with a retail price of 16.25 a foot and a wholesale price of 9.84 a foot. This is a three millimeter Rolo. Again, Rolo is just a flat on the inside, rounded on the outside, right? Um, yeah, can't go wrong. Very simple. Um, I saw uh, somewhere, and uh, maybe I'll find it. There's a very cool. Um, weaving pattern that you can do with a couple rows of this with um, like a, ball, a little tiny ball chain that can go back and forth through it and if you use different color um, it's just very cool anyway neither here nor there um, SFC 065B with a retail price of 467 a foot and a wholesale price of 283 a foot uh, this replaces uh, a link that was almost identical, just a little bit different. That's why we call it 65B. Uh, but if you previously bought SFC 065, that one is no longer available. We just have this one as a, um, as a replacement. 467 is the retail price a foot and 283 is the wholesale price. And this is a uh, two millimeters wide by almost three millimeters, 2.8 millimeters long. These little links of this, uh, just a regular standard cable chain, right? Very cool. You know, the links are not super thick, uh, but they're also not like super thin either. Sort of thing, right? Just a, you know, kind of a standard chain. Here's a little bit bulkier version of that SFC 066 with a retail price of 447 and a wholesale price of 271. Um, this again, another cable chain, a little bit thicker links. Uh, these are two and a half millimeters long, 1.7 millimeters wide. And here is its spiritual cousin, SFC 066B, uh, with a retail price of $760 uh, per foot and a wholesale price of $460. This is uh, two and a half millimeters long, 1.7 millimeters wide. Um, 0 0.3 millimeters is the thickness of the wire that was used. So what is that? That's 20... No, that must be... That can't be right. That has to be more than... 28 gauge because 26 gauge is 0 0.4 so it must be smaller than that I bet that's not that's small let's try it let's see 
what do we get? 0 0.4. So, uh, let's call that um, 24 gauge metal of the wire links. Uh, anyway, you can see that the links are, uh, you know, pretty bulky, pretty chunky, but there's still plenty of room to get a jump ring through that uh, if you need to, as long as it's not a super thick one. Like, you wouldn't get a an 18-gauge jump ring through there. Uh, you'd have to solder it right to the end or something, which is, uh, again, one of those uh, demos that I'm going to do in the future, soldering links to the end. Of, I better write that down because I won't remember it. Uh, <laughs> SFC 067 with a retail price of 1528 and a wholesale price of 925. This is a classic Figaro chain, right? With the uh, it's a it's still a cable chain, you know, the same basic idea. Although there's three small ovals and one big one in between them, right? That's kind of like the classic version of this thing. And these are again twisted, so they give you that uh, that little bend in the individual links that makes them lay down flat. Right. Very cute, very classic. Can't go wrong. These are uh, two and a half millimeter, or the small ones anyway, uh, long links. The bigger ones are more like four millimeters. Um, yeah, very cool. And this one is gosh, just one of my favorites. This real simple chain, SFC 070, with a retail price of 1949 and a wholesale price of 1180. And uh, it's not really a Rolo, although it's kind of like that. But the, uh, the you know they're oval links, so it's kind of a cable chain. But the links are made with triangular wire, right? So it's flat on the inside and it's tapered to a point on the outside, right? I mean, it's not <laughs> it's not sharp or anything, so it won't scratch you when you're wearing it, sort of thing. But uh, it's just very cool how the uh, the sides of the links are beveled, so it gives you that. Uh, beveled look just super super cool chain just love it um yeah one of my favorites so the links are about four millimeters wide and uh maybe about three millimeters wide um but it's nice and chunky so that's why you get that 19 dollars and 49 cents a foot is a wholesale price it is a retail price 1180 is a wholesale price um i just love that now we've got a couple of handmade chains, SFC 085 with a retail price of $28.40 a foot and a wholesale price of $17.19 a foot. And um, right, this is just a simple cable chain with alternating big, uh, you know, circles smaller uh, round circles. And let me see if I can get that flat on there. And ovals where all the links are behaving. Uh, and you have these big oval loops. Again, that's, uh, you know, not super thick chain. We're looking at uh, maybe 20 gauge wire for the, uh, well, let me just measure it, maybe 22. Let's see. 0 0.8 millimeters is 20 gauge. So that's, I was right in the first place, 20 gauge wire. I can smell it, 20 gauge. Uh, so this, again, is a handmade uh, uh, chain because, you know, the li links are all soldered by hand. Um, uh, yeah. Very classic. Very gorgeous. Um, here's another one that's also super interesting. SFC 086 with a retail price of fifty two sixteen and a wholesale price of thirty one fifty seven per foot. Um, and again, this is quite a bit heavier chain. Uh, nice big circular loops and the uh, smaller oval twisty wire loops and these are like in between them connecting those are like rollo links right so it's a you know super i don't know uh eclectic sort of chain uh i can see this nice big long lengths of this as a you know as a necklace um yeah very cool or you know, you can just buy the chain and then open these loops and use the individual components for something else, right? 
I don't know why I did this once with another uh, chain that we did a couple weeks ago, and it ended up being cheaper than buying the individual components themselves. So I don't know. Neither here nor there. SFC 087 with a retail price of $34.37 and a wholesale price of $20.80 a foot. Um, this one is just a gorgeous uh, flat links, right? Flat oval links with the little oval or flat round links with the uh, little oval cable chain in between. Very simple, very elegant. But again, you know, if you need these uh, things, you can also just, you know, take these and, and use a couple of pieces in between other things, you know, uh, a couple of links, maybe, uh, you know, in an earring or something. I don't know. You don't have to use it as a necklace chain every time. Um, yeah, very cool. Our next item, SFC 088 with a retail price of twenty eighty two and a wholesale price of twelve dollars and sixty cents a foot, uh, and this is just a simple. It's kind of a cable chain, nice big oval links and smaller Rolo links in between them to connect them together, right? That now that I mean, this is just super elegant, right? Just lovely, big sterling links. Of chain, but they're not super thick, you know. So they're, you know, they're they're uh, supple and elegant, um, but not boastful. How's that? I just pulled that uh, <laughs> SFC zero eighty nine with a retail price of fifteen thirty five and a wholesale price of nine dollars and twenty nine cents. And uh, again, this is I guess kind of kind of a Figaro maybe. It's three small links in between uh, bigger oval links. So I guess technically it counts as a Figaro, but it's, uh, I don't know, not really a traditional Figaro. Normally those are, uh, uh, am I just seeing this wrong? No, that's three and one and three and one and three and one and three and one. Yep. Gorgeous. Uh, and these are, how big are those links? Let's see. Let's call those, I can measure this, 261. So let's call it about three millimeters wide, maybe five millimeters uh, uh, long on the bigger links. Very gorgeous, very super. Now these are the, the last two links I'm gonna show you today. SFC 091, this is the bigger one. Here we go. <laughs> SFC 090 with a retail price of $85.36 a foot and a wholesale price of $51.67. This is a six millimeter Rolo chain, right? Which is a uh, nice, great, big, fat, uh, round loops, flat on the inside, domed on the outside, right? These are, uh, uh, they're actually, the, the links are a little bit scooped out. So it's a little bit lighter than you might um, feel like it should be. Um, which is, you know, just super adv advantageous when you're talking about things because then it would even, you know, it would add to the cost uh, and add to the weight. And, you know, with chains, I don't know, necklace chains, you don't want them to be super heavy unless you specifically want them to be super heavy. At that point, you're not looking at this kind of a chain anyway. Um, right, does that make sense? Anyway, I just love this. Great big fat Rolo chain. Uh, and we have one, another one that's even bigger. SFC 091 with a retail price of $96.63 a foot and a wholesale price of $58.48 a foot. Uh, and this is a far cry from that other chain that we had that was like, what was it? 271 a foot or 250 a foot? Something like that. So... We have chains for every every budget. Uh, love these giant Rolo links. Just so cool. Um, again, you know, the design has to mean it, you know, for those thing, for these things to work. Uh, you probably wouldn't want this on a nice little delicate pendant or something like that. This is uh, uh, a little more costumey, you know, so you sort of really need to mean it. 
another thing, these things work great as um, individual links. You can take these apart and put them on other things. Uh, yeah. But that's it. That's that's our biggest roll of chain, I think. I don't think we have one bigger. Actually, I'm sure we don't. Um, but very cool. And that, whoops. As they say, boing. Is it? How did I do for time? God, it's so good. 35 minutes. Woohoo. Um, yes. So next week we'll finish the chains. And then, um, uh, again, I'm going to write that down. Uh, I think I want to do uh, a little demo uh, soldering chains to the ends of a link, uh, like a jump ring or something. Like some of those uh, uh, wire they're not really like chain thread chains or i don't know what you call them the, the little tiny snake chains that are super tiny threads that you can't put a link a jump ring through it to connect it to a clasp or whatever that you need to solder the jump ring directly to the end of the chain right and there's uh there's a couple of tricky techniques you know to be able to do that uh, easily you know with no uh uh no muss no fuss the problem with the soldering those kind of chains is that um or, or any chain, like really any, you know, cable chain or any old chains where the links are very tiny, you always end up with, um, not always, if you're not careful, you can end up with the solder flowing down the lengths of the chain and then soldering all the links together. So you end up with a little flat edge, a little stiff edge in the end of the thing, which is normally not that big of a deal if it's only a couple of links because it's gonna be at the back usually. Um, but it can be a problem and uh, you know it, it looks weird anyway when you have it you know up when you're you know playing with it when you're looking at it you know you don't want to have a customer looking at a piece that you just made and and have like you why is the beginning of this near the class why is this all stiff that's weird uh, so I'll show you how to avoid that uh, and how to do it you know I'm good ways and bad ways right um, I, there's not really a way or a, you know a right way or a wrong way there's only a way or another way you know I guess um, and far be it from me to ever say that the way I would show you how to do something is the way that you should be doing it uh, but you can do it wrong all you like as long as it works I don't care how you do it right um, but when I bring you some tips of those things, hopefully you'll be able to make them work. Anyway, uh, I'm just rambling now. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Uh, so uh, <laughs> thank you for joining us this week for our latest Sylvia Findings um, live stream presentation with our chains. Uh, why are you still here? <laughs> Whoever that is, I see a live one person watching. Uh, oh, there's probably staff. It's probably Nelson in the other room. Right? Uh, Take care of yourself, take care of the planet, especially in this uh, January, the, the month of the doldrums. Uh, take care of your mental health, uh, very important. Uh, and we will take care and uh, see you next week. All right, bye-bye, finish, I can do this. Press the button.